Hi, welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Golden Heart Syndrome. Golden Heart Syndrome is a craniofacial syndrome, which means that it causes abnormalities in the formation of the face and the head. It is a rare disease and it is congenital, which means this syndrome is present at birth. So it is rare where there is maybe around one case out of thousands of cases. And it is also known as ocular auricular vertebral dysplasia. So ocular means the eyes, auricular is the ears, and vertebral will be the spine. In people with golden heart syndrome, abnormalities appear mostly in the ears, eyes, and spine. And besides these three structures, this syndrome can also affect the structure of the face and also some internal organs, such as the heart or the kidneys. So the clinical features are extremely variable from one individual to another. The most obvious symptom would be the presence of facial abnormalities, especially hemifacial microsomia, where one side of the face is smaller compared to the other side. So you can see in this picture here, the left side of the face of the child is smaller compared to the right side. And this occur when the bones and the muscles in the face are underdeveloped on just one side of the face. Those with golden heart syndrome may also present with cleft lip or cleft palate. And other characteristics include defects in the eyes, ears, and spine. So for the eyes, they may have growth on their eyes or small eyes, shown in this child in the picture. The left eye is smaller compared to the right eye. They may have missing eyelids as well. Whereas for ears, there may be small ears, also known as microtia, where you can also see in this picture here, the left ear is smaller compared to the right ear or missing ears, ear tags, or even hearing loss. For the spine, golden heart syndrome can cause incomplete development of the vertebrae, fused or missing vertebrae. And many people with the syndrome end up with scoliosis, which is curve, curvature of the spine. There are also some other clinical features, which are less common where around 5 to 15% of people with Gordon Heart Syndrome have some degree of intellectual disability, and some also have abnormalities in internal organs, most commonly congenital heart defects. So to diagnose Gordon Heart Syndrome, there is no specific genetic or chromosomal test to identify the syndrome. The doctor makes the diagnosis by examining the infant or child and also identifying the symptoms of the syndrome. So when it is diagnosed, the child usually needs to have further tests such as hearing and vision tests and also x-ray of the spine to check for problems with the vertebra and to look for heart or kidney problems, imaging investigations might be needed. For management of golden heart syndrome, it varies depending on the needs of the child. So if it is a mild case, there is no treatment needed. If there is hearing or speech problems, we will need to refer the child to work with a hearing specialist or speech therapist, and they may need a hearing aid. So if there are vision problems, then they may need a corrective surgery or glasses. Surgery may also be needed to correct any heart or spinal defects, and can refer them to the education specialist if they have intellectual disability. So that's all for this video. Thank you.